It's time to pray, learn and create. It's time to pray, learn and create. It's time to pray, learn and create. It's time to pray, learn and create at Christ Preschool Learning Academy. Good afternoon, good afternoon. How are you? How are you? Good afternoon, good afternoon. How are you? Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Christ Preschool Learning Academy, where we pray, learn, and create. My name is Miss Zanita. But you can call me Miss Z. <laughs> What's your name? Oh, it's so nice to meet you. Are you ready to read our story for today? But first, let's pray. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for another day of story reading. Lord, we pray that you would speak to all the children in the story today and comfort their hearts and minds in you. And God, we pray that you would uh, continue to teach them and help them to grow and healthy and strong. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Here's our story for today. It's called God Made All Your Feelings. But first, let's sing the story song. It's story time. It's story time. It's story time. Let's read our story for today. And this is our story. God made all your feelings. This is by Amanda Flynn. Inside out and outside in. God made our bodies, gave us skin. God made our minds, our feelings too. God made me and God made you. That's right. God made all of us. He's the creator. And she's just walking along, having a good time. <laughs> Outside in God's creation. We're all so different and unique. The way we dress and how we speak. We all have feelings, big and small. God cares for them and named them all. Uh-oh, it looks like we have a few friends here who are showing different feelings. What type of feeling do you think she's having right now? She might be a little sad, right? It looks like she's crying, oh no. And he looks like he might have a angry feeling going on. He might be a little upset about something, yeah? And she actually looks happy because she's swinging on the swing. And he might be sad, too, because he doesn't have anybody to play with to get on the seesaw with him. All of these are called emotions, and it's just how we feel sometimes. Those are times that we need to pray and ask God to help us feel better, right? We also can talk to a grown-up, our mommy, our daddy, or even a friend nearby. And you also should watch our feelings song and our feelings and emotions video to help you learn how to deal with your feelings, okay? Also have your parent download your free emotion scripture chart so you can find a Bible verse to help you pray about your feelings. When we are happy, smiling bright, eyes are twinkling, filled with light, spreading joy, we're free to shine, God says, child, you are mine. And that is from Psalm 68, verse 3. Be glad and rejoice before God. Be happy and joyful. They look like they're having a birthday party, so they're all excited and having fun. <laughs> Joy is one of the fruit of the Spirit that we went over in our other story reading called the Nine Fruits of the Spirit. Make sure you watch that story time. When we are sad and feeling down, smile turning to a frown. Mm. Sniffling through every tear, God says, child, I am here. 
the Lord is near to all who call on him. And that's from Psalm 145, verse 18. Oh no, why are they sad? What happened? It looks like they fell off their bike and they scraped their knee or their leg there. Oh no. Hopefully he can get someone to help him so he won't stay sad, right? Yeah. When we are scared, knees are knocking. Breath is shallow, heart tick-tocking, shadows creeping from a tree. God says, child, trust in me. When I am afraid, I put my trust in you. Psalm 56, 3. It looks like she might be a little afraid because she sees a shadow that's from the tree outside. And her mommy's right there. And her mommy's probably going to come in and pray with her so she doesn't have to be afraid. That's just another part of God's creation. There's nothing to fear. God is always near. She just has to pray and ask Jesus to send the Holy Spirit to comfort her, right? Yes. When we are angry, feeling bad, huffing, puffing, raging mad, things don't always go our way. God says, child, stop and pray. Hear my prayer. Lord, let me cry for help. Come to you. Psalm 102 verse 1. If we get angry with our friends about something or our parents, then we should always stop and pray and ask God to help us to have peace, right? We definitely need the fruit of the Spirit to help us to know what to do when our emotions start rising up, right? Yeah, and then we should talk to somebody and ask them what else we can do to help us be happy again. When we are wild, can't sit still, looking for the next big thrill, bouncing, full of energy, God says, child, you are free. Set me free that I may praise your name. Psalm 102 verse 1. That's a good idea. When we feel like we're having a lot of energy, then we should go outside and run around, be free, and have fun, right? Yeah, just ask someone to take you outside or find something else you can do with your energy, like maybe a craft or a painting or just something else that you know that helps you, right? Yeah. When we are anxious, heartbeat racing, thoughts are scattered, Feet are pacing, overwhelmed. We've had our feel. God says, child, rest, be still. Yes, my soul, find rest in God. My hope comes from him. Psalm 62, 5. That means if we ever get worried about things or there's just so much going on and we just don't know what to do, then we have to put our trust in Jesus. And he reminds us that he's with us and he'll help us no matter what's going on. And maybe she was getting a little frustrated with her schoolwork. So then her parents came to help her. Sometimes God sends people to help us, right? Yes. When we are mindful, all aware of flowers, blooming birds in air, watching sunsets, pause in rest. God says, child, come be blessed. The whole earth is filled with awe at your wonders, where morning dawns, where evening fades. You call forth songs of joy. Psalm 62, 5. She's outside looking at the flowers and the birds are tweeting, tweet, tweet, tweet. You probably hear the birds over here tweeting too. <laughs> They're always over here making a lot of noise by the window. Let's see, how many birds do we see on this picture? I see one, two, that's it, that's all I see. I see butterflies too and flowers. How many butterflies? One, two, two butterflies. And how many flowers do you see? One, two, three. Very good counting. When we are shy 
and blending in quiet whispers, wobbly grin. Unsure of friends, new and old, God says, child, speak, be bold. On the day I called, you answered me. You made me bold with strength in my soul. Psalm 138, verse 3. Sometimes we might get a little shy if we want to play with others and we're just not sure if we should say something. Well, God says to be bold. Go ahead and walk up to them and say, hi, tell them your name. And then say, hey, can I play? And I bet they would want to play with you too. A lot of friends here are playing together. I'm sure they would play with him, don't you think? Yeah. When we are sleepy, nodding head, yawning because it's time for bed, snuggly prayers and kisses too, God says, child, I love you. In peace, I will lie down and sleep. For you, Lord, make me safe. Psalm 4 and 8. She's getting ready for bed and her parents are getting her ready to pray together and put, put her in the bed. Yeah. Always make sure you say your prayers before bed, right? And when you wake up and even during the day, you can pray too. Pray always. <laughs> Throughout each day, we each make choices to use our feelings and our voices to keep it in or let it go, to feel each feeling as we grow. Look at all the friends having fun walking together. They may be coming from school. One, two, three, four, five. There's five friends together. No matter what, God loves us. When feeling big or feeling small, God made us different and the same. God calls us child and knows our name. Look at her just laying out in God's creation. The end. Wow, what a great story. It's very true. God knows all of us. He knows our feelings and our emotions and what we're feeling each day. And he's there to help us through them if we pray so go ahead and pray and ask God to help you with your emotions and your parents can help you too. Be sure to watch all of our emotions videos to help you download your free emotion scripture chart. The link will be below this video. Well, it's time to sing the goodbye song now. Sean, where are you? Oh, hi Sean. You ready to sing? Let's sing. Goodbye for now, goodbye for now, I hope to see you again. Goodbye for now, goodbye for now, I hope to see you again. Thank you so much for coming to our story time reading today. We hope to see you again in our next story reading and be sure to watch our other story time videos. Until next time, bye-bye.